Michelle, I haven't heard that name in years. JK. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel, you guys. Uh, I've been, no, you know what? I'm not even gonna say how long I've been gone because you know what? At this point, it doesn't even matter anymore. You guys know I started a new job. I was working for it. I was working, I am working for it. I did my first week, it went amazing. I'm on my second week right now. Currently, I like it a lot compared to my old job. F my old job. Sorry, sorry, but I hate it. Anyway, so today I was really, really excited because I had an idea for today. Well, I had two ideas, but you guys helped me choose this one. Um, I was really excited for it, but now that it's completed, I'm kind of like, you know what? I feel like a lot of people have done this or a lot of people are going to do this. So regardless of that, just keep on watching my video. <laughs> um, today I tried doing a smoky eye. I don't know how many days are left of summer. Let me, let me Google it. It ends on Friday, September 22nd. Oh my god, it ends this Friday. <gasps> it was totally guessing. I was totally, totally guessing. But anyway, this is my first fall tutorial. Well, no, today's basically Thursday. So, I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm doing it ahead of time. But yes, this is a fall tutorial because I really, really missed warm colors. I miss smoky eyes. I miss them so much. So, I just had to take that out for you guys today. Um, so, this is what I came up with. I mean, it's very, very easy doesn't even look hard honestly it's very easy at the end of the day it's just kind of how you like to wear your makeup but I really hope you guys learn something in this video I talk a lot no I do actually I always talk a lot anyway if you guys want to learn how I got this look then please keep on watching my video oh one more thing before I go ahead and let you go um since I do have a new job I do not know how my filming schedule is gonna go from now on but um I am But I, <laughs> I'm gonna get my permanent schedule or like the schedule that I'm gonna have for a while very very soon so as soon as I get that schedule I will film a video and update you guys on my new filming schedule for now hopefully it's still every Thursday I'm really working on that I'm really hoping that's how it is but uh, but I'm just blabbering why am I blabbering you guys came here for the makeup so let's get on with the makeup alrighty guys so you know the drill I've already done this side off camera now I'm gonna do this one, and honestly, now that I just finished it, I wish I could have gotten a lot darker. But I'm just gonna make it a point that if you want it to be a lot smokier, you can bring up that brown shade a little bit higher. But you know me, I like to play it safe, so I just decided to leave that on the lid. But that is an option for you if you do want to do that. <laughs> All right. So for this one, I've already primed it with some concealer, and I've also set it with some translucent powder. Now we're just gonna go in with our Morphe R38 brush and with that one we're gonna pick up some burnt orange from the Modern Renaissance palette and this is gonna be our little transition shade. Oh I focused a lot of that right on the middle. I'm just gonna try and drag it out. This is mostly gonna go right above our crease area that way every single color that we put after that will blend very nicely actually. And this is actually the first time I blend my eyeshadow since I started working on my new job. I actually haven't been doing my makeup. Usually I'll just go with my um, everyday makeup for that. But I kind of feel like if I were to wake up early, I'd actually have time to do it. Also, if my eyebrow looks a little bumpy right here, I didn't mess it up. I promise. I just have a huge, like pimple on it it's horrible it's so ugly but i'm not gonna mess with it because i know if i mess with it i'm just gonna make it so much worse and nobody has time for that right now so i'm gonna take the little you know what let me get a comparison first 
Okay, here's the thing. For my crease, my favorite brush is the Morphe R39 brush, which looks like this, but as you can see, it's still dirty from the blue. I know, I'm disgusting. I don't wash my brushes. I'm sorry. I have to, though, because today I have to use the Kylie one. I really like it because I feel like the head is very similar to each other. This one's just a little bit bigger, but the actual shape of it, it's very similar, as you can see. I love this. I love this a lot more, but today we're going to be using this, which is the Kylie one. It came in the Royal Peach palette, I believe. That's the one we're using for our crease. That was a lot of information. <laughs> so I'm taking my Morphe 35B palette, and I'm taking the very deep orange shade. Don't be afraid of it, you guys. It's actually pretty gorgeous once it's on the lid. I think, yeah, I've actually done a video just using this whole entire using only this shade actually so we're gonna put that right on the crease but just right on the crease crease and next I'm going in with my morphe r40 brush I think you can see in pattern here I have like from the r38 all the way up to the r41 I believe and they are my favorite, favorite range or set of blending brushes. I don't know if they actually sell it in a set itself, but if you do have a chance to pick them up, any of those would be amazing for blending. And no, this is not sponsored. I'm not affiliated by Morphe. They're cheap. I like them. They work. I don't really have anything against the company. I don't even want to open that box. Honestly, there's no need. I'm taking Railgar, which is like a darker burnt orange, which is kind of funny because the actual burnt orange is not that much of a burnt orange. It's more of like a light orange. Anyway, I don't want to argue about that. So I'm going to take that right under the crease, mostly focused right on the lid. And it's going to start looking a little bit like that once you blend it in a little bit. Since it is a fluffy brush, it's not going to focus a lot of the color. So you're not going to get very, very high pigmentation unless you're using more of like a flat brush. But I just kind of wanted to have a darker base for when the darker shade goes on. Because I feel like if I just put that, um, that brown right on top of my skin, I don't feel it would have popped as much as priming it with a darker shade already and I also think that it helps a lot to transition from the very dark all the way up until the orange but that's just my preference you guys can completely skip this step and just go right into the dark brown as long as you work that crease very well I'm pretty sure it'll blend very nicely that was not a fart I was a chair <laughs> Alright, well, I'm pretty happy with that. I know this one looks a lot highly blended, but we're gonna get to that. Don't get ahead of yourself. Don't worry. We're working on it. Alright, so next, I'm taking a flat brush. I'm taking the exact... Oh. I'm taking a flat brush. I'm taking the exact same brush that I use right now. One and I did apply Flix Plus in it. I'm gonna use the end that's completely dry. Uh... And then we're going to use them all with the Fix Plus, but first we're going to use the dry side first. And with this one, we're going to be taking the shade Cypress Umber, which is the very deep brown. And we're going to go ahead and start by applying that right on the eyelash and just building upwards towards that crease. As you get closer to the crease, try to apply less and less pressure because you don't want that much concentration of color. I feel like I'm so technical today, like I'm not really... I don't know, I feel like I'm actually teaching you something today. Hmm. I don't know if that's good or bad. You guys are going to have to let me know. Alright. So, where were we? Yes. As you're getting closer and closer to the actual crease, go ahead and release that. Because you don't want the same amount of brown right here, right on your crease. You don't want that. You do not trust me. You do not want it. If you want it, by all means, but you don't want it. <laughs> As you can see, it's kind of feathering out right there. Right around the crease. It's 
kind of like you're doing the blending without actually using a blending brush. You're just blending it yourself. Kind of like that. See, that looks kind of nice, right? Alright, next up we're going to take our same Morphe R40. Next up we're going to take our Morphe R40 brush and we're just going to go over that crease. I think we're going to pick up some of that real gar shade. Yeah, we should. All right, and then I'm gonna use that to blend, blend, blend right on the crease. As you can see, some of that brown is gonna go away. That's all right, don't be scared. We're gonna go right back in with some more of that brown. I know it's gonna go away. You're not gonna miss it for too much. It's gonna be right back, just like every other ex-boyfriend you've ever had. After you're pretty happy, you know what? That looks pretty well blended. I'm trying to go as dark as this side. I, I want to be like her when I grow up. When you start thinking about that, that's when you move on to the, set, to the next step. If you're not thinking about that yet, then you stay here. You keep on blending. Nothing's going to happen. You're fine. Unless you're on a schedule or something or your boyfriend's rushing you, then tell him, you know what? I need a new bae. I need a new bae that doesn't rush me. Oh, I'm talking so much. All right. So we're going to spray a flat brush with some Fix Plus. Reason why I like using Fix Plus for darker colors is because I feel like a lot of dark colors, I actually haven't found a palette that gives me dark colors that are not like patchy. The, argue with me. Argue with me if you want, but every single dark color that I've ever tried in my life is patchy, like without any actual, like let's say, uh, like primer or fix plus before that. If I put it on just on its own and I start blending, um, that entire shade's gonna disappear unless I use fix plus. Prove me wrong. In the comments let me know if you've ever actually used an eyeshadow that's very dark black dark brown that does not go patchy without fix plus or primer let me know let me know so we're going back in with that cypress umber kind of like the same step as right now we're gonna start off right on the eyelash line you know what i was talking too much my brush dried that's what happens that's what happens damn it We're better now. I think it's too wet. Nothing's ever perfect, you guys. Nothing's ever perfect. I think I got it there. So we're gonna start off right on the eyelash with that dark color. I'll put my mirror a little closer because I don't want to mess up. Right on the eyelash right there. And it's gonna be like the same technique I guess you're gonna start off by focusing more on the lash line and then as you get higher release that brush a little bit more because trust me with this fix plus once that eyeshadow goes on there it's not gonna come off there's unless you use the makeup wipe of course but it's gonna be very 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 hard to blend so I do not want you to focus a lot of it right on the crease because then you're gonna have a very 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 hard time blending that out so like I said, just try to focus a lot of that right on the lash line and as you get higher towards your actual crease, kind of release that brush. Try not to get too much of it on it. Alrighty, so if you're happy with that, go with a tiny, tiny blending brush. It's not that tiny actually. It's full of product I'm using for my equal twos. It's like this little dual in the brush. It's a tiny little blending brush and more of like a precision shader brush, I guess. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and pick up some of that brown shade on it, just a little bit. And we're gonna use that just to blend it out without actually having to use a bigger brush because you do not want that darker color to go high up in that crease. Like I said, if you do want it to be a lot smokier, you can. I wish I could have done that on the other eye. And honestly, I already put eyeliner on. Took me forever. I don't want to mess with it. I'm pretty happy with that. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes and apply some eyeliner.
Sorry guys. Oh, that's too loud. We're having some technical difficulties with the eyeliner today, but we got it situated. We got it under control. Okay. <laughs> so I've already fixed it. Now I took a makeup make makeup wipey and I was wiping away all of that fallout that I had because I actually did have a lot of fallout today. Surprisingly enough. Alrighty. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my face that was completely out of camera. Oh my god. I hate myself. Anyway, I'm gonna do the rest of my camera out of camera. The rest of my camera out of camera because of my camera. I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup out of camera. It's always the same, you guys. I mean, I kind of hate the fact that I don't film it because then I feel like my videos have gotten really, really short. But it's always the same. Like, I hate filming it if I've already filmed it before. Um, but I will link it down below. If it ever changes, I promise you that I will update it. But as for now, I'm good with what I got. It works for me, so I'm gonna keep doing it the same way. I'm so sorry if you guys want me to change it up. I mean, I'll try to try different things, I guess. <laughs> but but as for now, it is the same foundation routine. I'm gonna go ahead and do it. I'll link it down below if you're interested. And uh, yeah, I'll come back and I'll look a lot better than this. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so my whole face is done. I know I overdid it in the highlighter. I know I did, I know I did. Um, we're gonna do our under eye now, under eye. You know, I always struggle with that word. Anyway, so we are gonna, I'm just gonna jump into it only cause it took me forever to do this hair and it's hot in here and I have my air off. That way you guys don't hear it in the actual video itself. And it's very hot guys and I really just wanna take my shirt off. I'm gonna go in with the Equal Tools um, double brush. I know they sell this at Walgreens. I don't know if you'll still find it. I literally, this is probably one of the first brushes I bought when I started to make up, which was like 2012, 2013. I'm not sure I'm gonna have to confirm that with you, but if I do find it, I will put it down below. And if I don't find it, I'm sorry, but just any little shader brush will do. Um, where was I going with this? I was getting somewhere. <laughs> so with the fluffy side, we're gonna go ahead and take the shade a uh, real guard and we're gonna apply that right in our under eye we're just gonna like kind of drag it along just because we we are gonna smoke out smoke out that under eye but we want to see um we want to see a pop of orange on there as well we just don't want it to be like super dark if you know what i mean Then I'm gonna take in the darker shade. What's the name of it? I think it's Cypress Umber. Yeah, we're gonna take in that darker shade with a little shader side. Uh, and we're gonna apply that right on the under eye. See, sometimes I forget that the camera is running and I forget that I actually have to say things. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go ahead and drag that through there, blending it as I go. You can literally make it as smoky as you want. I don't know yet. I'm gonna like apply some blend it out and see how I like it and see how smoky I actually want to get with this. Maluma baby. I'm pretty happy with that. Look how small my eye looks. I like it that dark. I think I'm going to add some mascara. I kind of want to put some black eyeliner, but I'm not really sure. I'm going to add some mascara and see what I feel like after that. Hold off on that thought.
decided to add some black eyeliner to my waterline um also if you see some white it's actually just my eyeliner my eyeliner my my what my lash glue <laughs> it's not finished drying I usually use a dark duo glue I lost it and I had a little white one that came with some lashes that I bought so that's the one I've been using lately I haven't even had time to buy any new uh, foundation I already ran out of the Marc Jacobs Remarkable foundation which kind of sucks because it was my favorite so I need to stock up on that but I really haven't had a chance to do anything at all going in with some black eyeliner right on my waterline And I know you're gonna ask me, and I'm probably not gonna mention it, but uh, the eyeliner I'm using is the Maybelline New York Eye Studio. Um, and it's uh, the gel eyeliner that they offer. Alrighty guys, well that's gonna complete today's look. Um, you can make it as smoky as you'd like. Wait, let me poof this up real quick. Okay. Um, like I said, you can make it as smoky as you'd like. I really wanted it to be super smoky because I feel like I've done this look before. I don't think I filmed it, but I feel like I've done it before. So I really wanted to put that smoky factor in there. You could, of course, modify it, personalize it, however you like to wear your makeup. You do not have to have it this heavy on the eyes. You can, of course... Just leave the orange with a little bit of a nude eyeliner, even white eyeliner that would really open up the eyes and I'm pretty sure that would look really, really pretty. Anyway, so um, yeah, that's going to complete today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said, my schedule is going to be a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more messed up for the next couple of weeks. But as soon as I have a set schedule or as soon as I have like what I'm going to be doing, I will update you guys on my new posting schedule as of now I hope I can make it every Thursday like today but if I can't please don't forget to follow me on social media I always update you guys there either on snapchat or on Instagram I will always post it when the new video will be up so please do not forget and also I really like snapping you guys I like receiving your snaps I like being friends like that I mean because sometimes through YouTube we can't really talk a lot I mean of course through the comments but through snapchat through Instagram I feel like it's a little bit more personal if you get what I mean. <laughs> anyway, but thank you so much for watching today's video. I love you so much and thank you so much for subscribing. There's a lot of great stuff coming. I hope, I really, really hope so. <laughs> See, I'm making empty promises. I don't even know. <sighs> I'm over it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.